Hey guys, Paul12157 here. This time around, I had the opportunity to drive with a 370Z. It was actually quite fast and chasing it was very fun. You can see it right there as I talk to the driver. But that's the thing, I wasn't able to get the recording of me chasing it due to some technical malfunctions. So unfortunately, that's all the video that I have of the 370Z. But don't worry, because we do have somebody to run with and here he is. He's a friend who owns an S2000, comes to the canyons quite frequently, and in my opinion I believe he's one of the quickest drivers around with one of the most backroad focused cars that I've ever chased. Now while chasing the 370Z was kind of easy, the S2000 is a completely different monster. This is due to the driver and the car. See the driver is a very seasoned backroad driver who has pushed all of the locals to the limits. And the car is very, very capable in the back road and has proven that over the years. The driver's modification choices make the S2000 even more capable because he has wide wheels, grippy tires, and even a wing for downforce. Here we see the 370Z coming out of the road and heading home. Well, we're gonna go have a little bit of fun with the S2000. Primary reason I put this on video is because I want to show the capability that the S2000 as well as uh, its driver have on the back road. Now, you'll notice that I actually keep up with the driver a bit. And this is not because of my skill or my car's abilities, but rather because a driver doesn't go full pace in order for me to keep up. He knows that I'm quite limited with a front wheel drive, automatic golf that is heavier than his car and has a measly amount of 170 horsepower. But we can still have fun at a fun pace, but not a 100% serious pace. To see the S2000 come closer to its full capability, check out the previous video where the driver actually led the pack and built a huge gap. In corners like these, you'll notice that my car actually gets winded. This is because this is a tight uphill corner where my car understeers coming into the corner and ends up getting out of the corner with not enough speed and momentum to keep up. In such situations, however, the S2000 has more than enough power to pull away. Large radius turns like these are extremely fun for me and quite effective because I can introduce oversteer with uh, lifting off the throttle and messing with the brake to get the car around the corner. And by being able to stay in the corner for a longer period of time, I can do this again and again until the nose willingly turns in. The effects of this are subtle, but they work wonders. And then again, you don't want your car snapping and oversteering an excessive amount. So, if you keep it subtle and controlled, it will yield the best results. Now, let's see how well we can keep up with this S2000. He will be going at a slower pace, of course, but even his slow pace is rather fast for most backroad drivers. Especially in the segments that work better with this car, like the tighter turns towards the end of the run. The car understeers a lot at the end of this corner here. Then again, this was expected. We're bottoming out on the shocks again. Maybe a tighter setup might be better for this purpose. I 
have a difficulty keeping speed up at the end of the corner here. This is another corner that I really appreciate. Full four wheel slide with a little bit of tail kick action here. Slowing down one of the more populated areas here, we attempt to be as safe as possible doing this, even if that sounds really contradictory. As we enter these switchbacks, you'll notice the S2000 come to life. Dipping my wheels into the cambered spots of the road helps me reduce understeer. Coming up to the next cambered turn, I hear a noise that truly warns me. As we settle down here, I'd like to say a big thank you to all of you for watching. Also, a big thank you to the people that drive with me in these videos. And um, leave a few likes, a few comments on what you want to see next. And if you like this type of content, subscribe to see more. Thank you so much and see you next time.